Hey folks, Alan Mandic, Mandic Really here, and I have an exciting new product to show you in this video. If you own a Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, P1P, or P1S, the folks at E3D are coming out with a genuine upgrade hot end that bolts directly into those machines. I was so excited about it, I jumped on a plane and flew to England so I can show it to you. Okay, real talk, I'm here for Sanjay Mortimer Rep Rap Festival, Smurf 2023, but we're here at E3D. They have the brand new product here, so let's go check it out and install it in an X1 Carbon. Seriously though, I'm here at E3D. Manufacturers of high quality, hot ends, nozzles, extruder assemblies, used by a range of OEM 3D printer manufacturers and hobbyists around the world. They are now the first to be teaming up with Bamboo Lab for aftermarket accessories for the Bamboo Lab X1, P1S, and P1P with their new Obsidian High Flow Hot End. This design is using the same licensed Bontech technology as the CHT high flow nozzles that they've incorporated into their Revo line, but they are now bringing it to a bolt-in Bamboo Lab accessory, as well as bringing their own design of the Obsidian, Obsidian wear resistant coating onto a hardened steel nozzle design. Let's work on getting this thing installed into a Bamboo Lab machine here at E3D. We're going to do a flow rate test on the stock hot end because fun fact for you, something that not a lot of people realize about the Bamboo Lab machines, sorry to say it, but the hot ends really don't flow that well in my opinion. Compared to some of my other designs, even compared to a standard Volcano hot end, they actually don't flow that much. A lot of my own personal filament profiles are tuned down to like 12, 13 millimeters cubed per second for actual day-to-day -day printing. For flow rate testing, we are actually gonna be using something that E3D has developed themselves, a flow rate test that they use on their machines and their hot ends. Filament we've got loaded up is some Prusament PLA. Currently, this machine has the stock hardened steel 0.4 millimeter hot end in it, nozzle, hot end, they're the same thing on this. And we're gonna run the flow rate test again with that Prusament PLA that we have in there right now. We're running this test because a big point of this is the higher flowing hot end that we're gonna get with the new E3D design. They have found this new design definitely drives those numbers up. So let's get this in here, do some actual testing and see for ourselves. Getting this thing out of the box, it's pretty straightforward that obviously you get the hot end in there, but what else comes with this? Well, you also get the thermal paste you're going to need for applying the heater cartridge and the thermistor to your new hot end. You get the shoulder screws to install this into your machine, a brand new Bamboo Lab silicone heater sock, and a new stainless steel clip to hold the heater and thermistor to this hot end. It does not include the fan, heater cartridge, or the thermistor for this design. You're gonna have to reuse those off of your machine or get replacements from Bamboo Lab as this does use the original design when it comes to those parts. We've got the Bamboo X1. I've already run the flow rate test on the stock hot end. So let's get the new high flow design installed. Remove the front cover from the tool head. The three electrical connectors, the fan, thermistor, and heater cartridge get unplugged. Though on a P1P and P1S, it's just the two flat connectors. This is an X1 carbon, so it has the three. The two shoulder screws that hold the hot end into the assembly, and then we can wiggle it out of place. As I said, this new hot end doesn't come with a fan, heater cartridge, or the thermistor, so we gotta remove those from our old hot end, then apply some fresh thermal paste to the new E3D hot end, install our thermistor and our heater cartridge with that new stainless collar sleeve that slides over them to hold them on place. Our brand new silicone sock goes on there, and now we're ready to reinstall it into the machine, which is very straightforward. It's the reverse of everything I just said. You wiggle it back into place, shoulder screws go in, our three electrical connectors get plugged back into where they need to go. You've really got to make sure on the X1 Carbon that they are firmly seated. They will look like they're well plugged in and they won't be. So just double check and check your temperature when you start the machine up to make sure it's reading properly. Then we can put the tool head cover back on, put the machine back together. I had it somewhat apart for filming and we're ready to run a flow rate test on the new high flow setup. The settings we're going to run for the flow rate test on the brand new high flow setup are exactly the same except we're pushing it faster and harder because this is going to flow better. We'll compare exact numbers as soon as we're done with this test. But otherwise, the same Prusament filament, the same heat, all that is set the same in this. It's just we're going faster and harder because we can flow more. And a short period of time later, we have a completed racetrack test with the new high flow nozzle setup. 
Before we get to the results from our testing, I just want to cut in here real quick. I know, perfect timing on my part. I just want to thank the sponsors of this video, you folks. No company sponsored my trip to Smurf 2023. It's only thanks to folks like you watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, supporting on Patreon or YouTube memberships that any of this is possible. This is the point in the video where I'd usually have a scrolling list of names for Patreon supporters, YouTube members, any of that stuff. That graphic is at home in the studio, so I just want to thank you folks, seriously. You make this all possible and it's down to you that I have any of this content to produce and a job. But really, thank you folks for your support. Please consider subscribing if you're not already, supporting on Patreon or YouTube memberships if you can justify it. Now let's get to the results of our testing. First thing, note, as I already said, these are two different G codes. The base parameters are the same, they just have different speeds to reflect the capabilities of the different hot ends. I say that because if you look at the two of them side by side, you can't just compare how high one failed versus the other to get a comparison between these. So plugging the numbers in, actually looking at the speeds that were achieved between these two hot ends. The factory hot end from bamboo, 0.4 millimeter hardened steel nozzle, achieved 18 millimeters cubed per second. Running the exact same Pershement PLA on this machine with the new high flow from the folks at E3D, we achieved 27 millimeters cubed per second. Now they have absolutely seen better numbers than that in their testing, so I will be revisiting this on my own X1 Carbon at home with the materials that I print with every single day, such as like Polymaker ASA I mentioned earlier. I use that all the time, and my profile is somewhere around 12 to 13 millimeters cubed per second to be a little conservative on speed, and it's just really how the stock hot end flows. So I am really looking forward to what this can do to unlock higher flow rates and therefore speeds for me. As of you folks seeing this video, this is filmed before embargo day, so it is now publicly available. You can pick these up for yourself. There'll be links in the description. By the way, this was not sponsored by E3D, uh, no money changed hands, nothing. They gave me like a hot end to put in my machine. I asked them if I could film this video because I really wanted to have this video up for embargo day. And I'm in the UK until after then, so I can't go home and put this on my machine unless I spend a lot of money. At launch, this is going to be coming in 0.4 and 0.6 millimeter nozzle sizes. My opinion, the most common and highly useful ones on this machine. You can pick up higher flow rate, you can push the speeds a little bit harder on this machine. That's exactly what I need to see in my workflow. And price at launch is 60 British pounds, excluding VAT. That's this in US dollars. And that, folks, is our first look at the E3D high flow hot end for the Bamboo Lab machines using technology from Bontech. I mean, multiple companies coming together for the betterment of 3D printing. Thank you to the folks at E3D for having me and letting me take over a corner of their engineering space here while I'm filming this video. All right, folks, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this one. I will be revisiting this probably in another Bamboo Mods video in the not too distant future, so make sure to be subscribed if you're interested in that. And if you are interested in that, maybe you'll be interested in my previous Bamboo Lab Mod video where I modified my Bamboo X1. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for this one. Be sure to get subscribed to ensure your 3D prints don't fail. It's not a guarantee, but it can't hurt. See you, folks.